guys, welcome to Ryan Infotainment channel and in this video we will be learning about adaptations in animals. So this is the part 1 and I will do the new video that is part 2. So first we are not going to learn about adaptations in animals but types of animals. You will need to learn the types of animals to understand adaptations. So the first type of animal are terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals are the animals that live on land and they have fit organs and they can walk, run on land and do everything on land. So examples are camels, dogs, cats, everything in the land are called terrestrial animals. So got it? The animals that live on land is called terrestrial animals. The second type is Aquatic animals. Aquatic animals are the animals that live on water. They cannot come out. If they come out, they'll die. So, all the fishes are aquatic animals and they have a special organ to breathe. That is gills. They have the gills to breathe under the water. But, except for whales and dolphins, they have lungs to breathe instead of gills. And the third type of animal are aerial animals. So aerial animals are animals that fly over the air, like birds. Birds always fly in the air and the animals that fly in the air are called aerial animals. For example, hummingbird, yeah, that's a good example for an aerial animal. So the fourth one is arboreal animals. Arboreal animals are the animals that live on trees. So Polar bears, monkeys, they all live on trees. They are a good example of arboreal animals. The next one is herbivore. Herbivore are the animals which eat plants. And the next one is carnivore. Carnivores are the animals which eat meat. So wolves, tigers, they all eat meat. And the third one is omnivore. Raccoons, crows, they all eat both vegetables and non-veg. So herbivores are the animals which eat plants and fruits and carnivores are the animals which eat meat and omnivores are the animals which eat both herbivore and carnivore mixed together makes omnivore. So they eat both vegetables and fruits. So these are the adaptations in food. Because herbivores eat plants and vegetables, so their adaptation in food is plants and vegetables. Carnivores eat meat, flesh, everything. So their food adaptation is meat and flesh. They don't eat any plants, vegetables, and the herbivores don't eat any meat. But omnivores have an adaptation that helps them to eat both vegetables and fruits. The next one is scavengers. Scavengers are the animals that eat dead remains of other animals. So a big predator came and killed a cow. Then the vultures and hyenas come and eat the cow after the big predator has left the prey. So you may think what is a predator and a prey. The predator is a big animal that kills a small animal. The prey is the small animal, the big predator's target. So lion is a predator and deer is a target, that means prey. So lion's prey is deer. I hope you understand. So these scavengers eat the leftovers of the flesh of the animal that is eaten up by a carnivore, that is a predator. So let's go to the next one. The next one is parasite. Parasites are the animals that live on other big animals and harm them. They rely on the big animals' nutrition, but they don't help us in any way. So fleas, lice, they are all parasites. They, they sit on other big animals or a human, even us, and they take all our nutrition and 
make our skin dry and give us diseases. They are very bad. And the next one is decomposers. Decomposers are small, small organisms which eat the leftovers too. After the scavengers have come and eaten up all the leftovers, these this decomposes, decompose it and make the soil very fertile. So these are very good to the environment. So after the vultures eaten it, it decomposes it and then it will uh, make the soil very fertile. So this is the part one. Then I'll meet you at part two in the next video. Thank you.